is Luna. I'm nine years old. When I grow up, I want to be an engineer or a dancer or a chef. But I haven't decided yet. At school, we're learning about the submarines that are going to be built. The French company DCNS will deliver 12 Barracuda submarines. The French presidency has described the contract win as historic. For a project, we're researching all the ways that South Australia and France are connected. So I've come to meet Brent Clark, where the subs are going to be built. We won a competitive process against two other countries and this will be the largest conventional submarine built anywhere in the world and it's going to be built right here in Adelaide. We're going to create thousands of jobs uh, here at the shipyard and also in the supply chain, supply and equipment to the submarine. This is the kind of job that we will need from people like you when you grow up. To find out more about France, I've come to meet the artistic director of the Australian Dance Theatre. We're actually establishing an international centre for choreography that's based on the French model. It'll have really significant economic impacts and also create opportunities for uh, dance artists in South Australia to work with French artists and vice versa. Derek Casey works for Le Cordon Bleu where the students get to make all kinds of delicious things. The first school was in Paris in 1895 and we've been working with Le Cordon Bleu now for well over 20 years in South Australia. We teach young chefs and hotel managers and many of those young students are running businesses very successfully in Adelaide. One of the biggest economic benefits of having Le Cordon Bleu is not just the students coming to South Australia but it's all the graduates who are now working all over the world. That develops really nice strong cultural relationships with all other parts of the world. Well, I'd seen a lot and learned a lot, but I thought I might make one more stop. We have an incredible relationship. We're bound together, our two countries, France and Australia, and in particular South Australia, where we're building the submarines. And that will create opportunities for young people like you to grow up and, and study perhaps to be an engineer and then go and work on these um, very complicated submarines as we seek to build them. What would I have to do if I wanted to become the Premier one day? Well, you France first is over 16,000 kilometres away from South Australia. But when you take a closer look, we have loads in common. I think to conclude, if South Australia and France keep working together, we can achieve anything we want. <laughs>